Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, it will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Please keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your chart. And yeah, so I'm going to just get into this. Spirit messages for Scorpio, please, in regards to love. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. For Scorpio, please. Messages for Scorpio in regards to love. Scorpio, need to know. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you in regards to love. Scorpio spirit. Here we go. Oh, okay, we got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. What else for Scorpio? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, what else for Scorpio? separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon okay it's way too many one more please for scorpio very interesting what else for scorpio spirit flirt Send your lighthearted energy to others. I'm picking up like with flirt and playfulness. It's almost like um young energy, um, new energy, uh, like the beginning of a relationship or a very young relationship or being with a younger partner. Separation. Either this already happened, uh, Scorpio, or... Perhaps there needs to be a separation here in order for something else to happen. Maybe there's this long distance or maybe you separated in the past and got back together or something like that. Someone here feels like this is true love. Either you feel this way or your person feels this way. Messages for Scorpio in regards to love. Using uh, the Tarot of the Golden Wheel, um, all of the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you're interested for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio regarding love. Does Scorpio need to know spirit regarding love? No. I'm just going to be cutting the deck and then just picking the cards out. And doing a past present future spread so keeping it simple let's see what's at the bottom page of swords reverse what this is uh someone not telling you the whole story um possibly deception gossip delayed communication for some of you so what happened here in the recent past five of swords reverse okay so something didn't work out for someone <laughs> and i say for someone because scorpio this whole spread could be all about you or it could be all about your person or a mix um so with the five of swords reverse this is overcoming a failure a fight a deception um this could be uh, someone that you know that did not treat you right and it ended badly so let's see Eight of Pentacles, someone working focused. Eight of Swords Reverse, breaking free from a mental prison and not feeling stuck anymore in um, in your head, right? So Eight of Swords, this is someone that overthinks and um, lets their mind kind of take over. So in the present, we have the Fool, beautiful. A new beginning here, taking a risk, a leap of faith. Page of Pentacles, new opportunity, a message regarding some sort of opportunity here. Could be someone asking you out on a date. And then Page of Wands, reverse. Interesting. 
could be two people here, one that doesn't work out and one that does, or it could be that someone really has the intention of giving you a solid offer, a very small solid offer, but um, maybe they don't follow through or they're unable to really get this started or maybe the passion or motivation is no longer there. We'll clarify and see. In the near future, we have the star Aquarius energy. Oh. Hangman reverse. Seven of wands. Okay, standing up for what you believe in, defending yourself, fighting back. We'll see what that's all about. Let me clarify these energies, please. For Scorpio. Heaven. Very interesting. I'm picking up like there's whoever this you're dealing with here, Scorpio, whether it's someone from your past, someone that you're currently with or someone coming your way, um, whatever new beginning this is for you, I feel like there's going to be some sort of opposition, some sort of challenge you have to face. All right, let's start with this Page of Swords Reverse. Let's clarify this Page of Swords Reverse. Why is the Page of Swords Reverse here? Scorpio Spirit. Nine of Swords, something that you're stressed about, worried about, anxious about, regarding either what's not, what if, if this is a delayed message or deception, it's something you're not dealing well with. What else can you tell me about this page of Swords Reverse? I got two. Six of Wands Reverse, Seven of Cups Reverse. Something here I feel like was an illusion. What you thought was going to be successful, what you thought was going to work out here didn't work out, or there was no success with this, uh, whatever happened here with someone. Maybe you chose the wrong cup. Maybe you were tempted by someone. And I feel like there was an ending. So I feel like this is either happening right now. And this could be that separation card. This could be happening right now or be happening in the near future. We'll see here. So tell me about this Five of Swords reverse. This is that bad ending. Something here. It could be a bad fight or just some sort of like you know, actual ending here. What about the Five of Swords? The Magician Reverse. Again, something not manifested. Someone could be manipulating or trying to manipulate the situation. Someone you can't trust. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Reverse. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. For me as a reader, they tend to always like be or tend to be in a commitment of some sort long-term commitment or marriage and just as i say that there's the higher font at the bottom so this could be someone that's already in a commitment tell me more about this five of swords this could be somebody that you're married to in a commitment with one more please for this five of swords knight of pentacles reversed so an offer that has pretty much taken forever to arrive very delayed, possibly not happening, or maybe this is a promise that someone made that they've been working on, but it hasn't gotten here yet. It could have been that someone withdrew an offer that they made to you, or maybe this opportunity wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What's this about? Ace of Swords. So someone here is working on communicating or um, focused on seeking the truth, or perhaps this is somebody that has clarity about something. Tell me about the Ace, not the Ace, the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Someone could be wanting to talk about distance between you, about how they're struggling without you, about how they feel lonely. Can I get some more, please, for this Eight of Pentacles? 
nine of wands reversed um seven of swords at the bottom here someone i feel whoever's working on or whoever is um whoever was left behind or is struggling is because it's their own fault um, and now it's like they're trying to work on and focused on um, being honest or providing clarity or having a serious conversation. And this Nine of Wands reverse, I feel like this is the person they could be wanting to talk to. And this Nine of Wands reverse is ready to give up. Like they're not, their walls are down because, you know, maybe they're in a weak at a weak moment, but you know, deep down, they're just kind of over the fighting, over the, the being tired of this all. It's like someone's just over it. And it could be because the other person's being sneaky, deceptive, you know, somebody can't really trust. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. What's the Eight of Swords reverse about? King of Swords Reverse. Wow. Terrible person. Terrible person to deal with. King of Swords Reverse. They are huge liars. Temperance. Sagittarius energy here. Someone's finding balance again. I feel like this King of Swords Reverse was probably someone that got in your head, Scorpio. Or um, someone that lied to you and kept you stuck, unsure what to do. Maybe you, were, you had fear of this person or fear about what would happen. Um, but I, I feel like there's, there's some sort of turning point happening for you here where you broke free of that feeling stuck, that, that feeling like you don't have a way out of a situation. You were able to see a way out and are trying to have something else happen here. Um, restore balance, restore harmony, um, within yourself. Tell me about the fool. What's this new beginning about? Tell me about this fool. Wow, Knight of Cups. An apology or someone expressing love to you. A new beginning here. Tell me more about the fool, please. Eight of Cups. Someone walking away. It's almost like someone Ten of Cups at the bottom. Someone could have walked away from a family or left a family and is apologizing for that. Or someone here has left a family or left something in their life to have a Ten of Cups and offer a Knight of a Cup to someone. It could go either way. So what happened here? Have the page of pentacles so what happened tell me about this page of wands reverse this is a very small offer the page of pentacles is an initial offer um something like let's go for a drink or just something very small tell me about the page of wands reverse for scorpio why is this page of wands reverse strength reverse someone here lacks courage to possibly see this through Leo energy with a strength card. Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Maybe they're not strong enough for some reason to see this through. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. Four of Swords. Doing a lot of thinking, reflecting, healing. Tell me more about this Page of Wands reverse. Seven of Swords, once again. Yeah, something's off here. They don't have the Four of Cups at the bottom. It is, you know... It's like someone has lost interest or is doubting how they feel. Wondering if this is the right cup, if another cup is better. Losing... Um, they might be missing an opportunity because they're not they're not folk they're not doing the things the right way. I don't know. This could be someone that 
you know, maybe they're dealing with someone that's acting like a seven of swords and they're like over it. Like they're losing interest in this person because this person is full of crap. It's almost like what happened is there was a very sweet beginning here and then it just went to crap because of someone's actions. Tell me about the star. Hope, faith, renewal. Why is the star here? Scorpio. Oh, I got two. The world reversed, three of wands reversed. Again, with missing the boat with the three of wands reversed. Um, impatiently waiting for something. Um, and then the world reversed. This is someone that's not able to start a new cycle, not able to wrap up an old one. There's a lack of closure, uh, unfinished business. It's almost like even though someone has given up on waiting, even though someone has the opportunity for a new beginning, deep down, I feel like they have faith or hope that this will still work out or that maybe something's worth waiting for. What's at the bottom? Knight of Swords reverse. Interesting. Again, more deception. Or just someone that's, um, you know, if they're delivering the truth, it, and then they have the Hierophant right behind that, Taurus energy, this could be in regards to a commitment. It's almost like whoever here is communicating this truth or this message that comes in regarding a commitment, whatever this Knight of Swords reverse is, um, is brutal. Knight of Swords reverse, they're not on your side. They, they're like those people that tell you that, you know, at least I'm honest, <laughs> but in the, even though they're honest, they're terrible people. Tell me about the star. Give me one more, please. What's the star here? Ace of Pentacles reversed. Broken commitment. And then I have the five of cups under, at the bottom. So very disappointing. Whatever this is, it's like someone's maybe trying to heal from a disappointment actually here. You know, some of you, I feel, I still feel like some of you are having hope for this connection, even though all signs are pointing to this is bad. But others of you, it's like you realize that this is something that you waited for, wasted your time possibly. Um, you missed the boat on an opportunity or, um, there's no closure and it's like, you're trying to heal yourself and heal from the disappointment. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Where's the hangman reverse? Two of swords reverse, the devil reverse. Capricorn energy with the devil. Someone is refusing to make a decision about leaving an unhealthy situation. They refuse to let go. Uh, they can't see things in a different perspective or a different angle. They, they only can see it in one way and it's keeping them stuck. Someone could be wanting to make a decision. Maybe they finally made a decision to break free. Tell me about the hangman reverse. It could go either way here. About the hangman reverse, please. Where's the hangman reverse? Six of cups reverse. Stuck on the past. And then the two of pentacles. So uh, that, okay, so that is my confirmation that this decision has not been made. So if this decision has not been made, this is with the two of swords reverse, it could be that someone is still undecided because they refuse to make a decision or they're still undecided because this decision is a huge decision. And I think it has to be, you know, regards to breaking free of a toxic or manipulative energy or an unhealthy environment. This has to do with the past. So what's the seven of wands doing here? What's the seven of wands here?
Page of Cups Reverse. What else can you tell me about the Seven of Wands, please, for Scorpio? King of Cups Reverse. More manipulation here. But someone's defending themselves against this person. Ten of Swords, again. Yeah, someone's going to defend themselves and end what they need to end here. Two of Wands, Reverse, Choose a Path. Scorpio, if this is you, um, I feel like you're putting an end to something and standing up for yourself. Enough is enough is what I just heard. So whatever situation has been heartbreaking, whatever situation has been stressful here, uh, not successful, um, you know, this might be difficult because this was someone that you really loved, but maybe they were just playing around and not taking this serious, um, making promises they couldn't keep. Maybe they didn't have the emotional maturity to deal with, with a relationship. Um, something's happening in the present where, you know, there's a new beginning here, a risk that you're willing to take or thinking about taking. And it, you know, this knight of cups here could be someone making you an offer of love or you making an offer of love to someone else but i think that that this this offer is coming from someone who's walked away from something i wonder if this is the person that you know things might have ended badly with maybe they're coming back to apologize and say hey let's try again and then i feel like you did give them a chance and it was back to the same old same old others of you i feel like this is someone from the past that is giving you an out you know and um you're considering standing up for yourself and taking this offer thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes and hopefully i'll see you in another video take care